The 3-in-1 Smart Car and IoT Learning Kit from SunFounder is a hands-on, all-included electronics kit that is perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to master the Arduino. The kit comes with an Arduino, 22 different sensors and modules, breadboards, jumper wires, and everything else you need to build a bunch of fun and interesting projects. Learn about robotics by building a remote-controlled smart car that can be controlled with an infrared remote controller. Or drive on its own and avoid obstacles or fall on a line. Learn about the Internet of Things with a project that lets you monitor the temperature, humidity, and light level of a room from an app on your smartphone. And build a plant monitor that tracks the temperature, humidity, light intensity, and soil moisture displays it on your smartphone so you can keep your plants watered remotely. It's a super cool kit and I had lots of fun building all the projects in it. So click the link in the description below to order the kit from SunFounder. In this video, we're going to learn about mathematical operators and how math calculations are performed in an Arduino sketch. We're also going to look at the order of operations, the order that the Arduino carries out calculations in a formula. You're probably already familiar with basic mathematical operators for things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. When we write a math expression or declare a variable, we use what's called an assignment operator. The assignment operator is the equal sign. The assignment operator is used to assign a value to a variable. For example, when we declare an integer variable called x and set it equal to 1. This tells the program to store the integer 1 in the variable x. To perform addition, we use the addition operator. That's the plus sign. So this will store the result of 2 plus 1, or 3, in the x variable. Subtraction is the minus sign. This will store the result of 2 minus 1, or 1, in the x variable. Multiplication is the asterisk. This will store the result of 2 times 4, or 8, in the x variable. And division is the forward slash. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 2 will be stored in the x variable. These are all constants here, but we could do the same math using variables. Now that we're talking about division, I want to show an important quirk to be aware of when dividing numbers. Say we want to divide 4 by 2 and print it to the serial monitor. Pretty simple, x equals 2. But what if we want to divide 5 by 2? We all know that the answer should be 2.5, right? But it's giving us a 2. The problem is that we declared x with the integer data type. Int only works with whole numbers, so the remainder is lost. If we change this to a float instead of an int, and change these whole numbers to decimals, we should get the correct answer. There we go, x equals 2.50. There's another operator that deals with division called modulus. It's written with the percent sign. The modulus operator performs division on an integer, then returns the remainder. So what would we expect from this? 2 goes into 5 2 times, and we're left with a remainder of 1. So 5 modulus 2 should be 1. Modulus isn't that common, but you'll run into it from time to time. When you use expressions with more than one operator, like this one, the order of operations becomes important. 
because the result will come out differently depending on which operations are performed first. For example, if we add 5 and 6 first, the result is 21.67. But if we multiply 6 and 2 first, the result becomes 16.67. So what's the correct order? It's PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, then subtraction. Operations inside parentheses get executed first, then exponents, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. Since math inside parentheses is performed first, you can use them to control the order of operations. The Arduino can do more advanced math too, like trigonometry. The Arduino has built-in functions for calculating the cosine, sine, and tangent of an angle. The trig functions take a float value as a parameter in radians and returns the value as a float. So B is in radians. There's also a function for calculating the square of a number. This calculates y squared. To calculate the square root of a number, use the square root function. The power function calculates the value of a base raised to the power of an exponent. The syntax looks like this. So for example, if we want to find 10 to the power of 8, we would put 10 as the first argument and 8 as the second argument. We also have functions for min and max. Min calculates the minimum value of any two numbers. The function returns the smaller of the two values. A and B can be any data type. Max calculates the maximum value of any two numbers. The function returns the larger of the two values. Like min, A and B can be any data type. Min and max are useful for keeping values above or below a certain threshold. For example, say you want to make sure the reading from a temperature sensor never exceeds 100 degrees. You could use the min function like this. This stores the smaller of the two numbers in the variable sensor val. So if sensor value exceeds 100, the function will output 100. Another function that could come in handy is the absolute value function. This function returns the positive value of a negative number. So this will return the absolute value of minus 10, which is 10. There's actually quite a bit more advanced math the Arduino is capable of, but you'll need to use a library called the math library. I won't go into that here, but visit this link for more information about the functions it has. In the next video, we're going to look at conditional statements. Conditional statements give you control over how your sketch flows and let you perform actions based on conditions that you define. SunFounder is my go-to source for sensors, modules, and other parts for the Arduino and Raspberry Pi. They have a huge selection of STEM, robotics, and IoT kits, and lots of useful sensors and modules. Every product has an online tutorial with wiring diagrams and example code. They also offer free shipping on all orders with no minimum. Give them a try at www.sunfounder.com next time you need to order some parts.